Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. So for today, my children, we are going to have two activities. The first one is a review of the objects that we discussed yesterday, which were about the letter O. And the second activity is a review of a color. So, let's begin, first of all, with the review of the capital O, small o. Remember that this letter has the shape and form of a circle, okay? There is no difference between majuscula and minuscula. The only difference is the size. Capital letter is big, of course, and small, minuscula, small, okay? That's the only difference. But the form is the same, a circle. Now, we saw several objects with this letter. Do you remember some of them? The octopus, excellent. Remember the octopus? It's an animal that appears on the sea. It's an animal of the sea and it has several arms, eight arms to be more specific. Recuerden que el pulpo es un animal que vive en el, en el mar y tiene ocho brazos. Okay? Another object that you remember with the letter O? The ogre. Very good. Remember the ogre. It's a big monster that is always angry. It's always angry. Okay? Es un monstruo alto que siempre está enojado. Another object that you remember with the letter O? The onion, very good. Remember some characteristics about the onion is that it has three colors. It can be white, can be purple, or it can be color green. Now, another characteristic of this is that when you are cutting the onion, it tends to produce tears, okay, from our eyes. Recuerden, chicos, que la cebolla tiene tres colores. La podemos ver el color blanco, de color, de color morado o a veces color verde. Y recuerden, chicos, que nosotros cuando lleguemos a partir cebolla, pues va a provocar lágrimas en los ojos, sin necesidad que algo nos duela. Es una, es una sustancia que produce la cebolla que nos hace a que lloremos, ¿ok? Another object that you remember with the letter O. The owl, very good, okay? Remember the owl, it's a bird that appears in the night, okay? Owl in Spanish, bull. So, let's continue with the second activity of today, which is a review of the color purple. Okay, we are going to see characteristics of this, all of this color, and we are going to see which objects can have this color. Now, remember, the color purple, okay, it's the color for several animals, it's the color for the Joker. There is a character from Batman that is called the Joker, that is always dressed in this color, the color purple, and it's also my favorite color, the, the favorite color of the teacher Jacob, color purple. Now, for this, I am going to make two activities. The first one, my children, appears right here on the whiteboard. Now, as you can see here, behind the teacher, I have several objects. I have grapes, okay, grapes, uvas, I have once again an octopus, I have an apple, I have a cat, I have a crayon, okay, and finally I have a pencil. Now, for this, you have to help the teacher to locate objects that are color purple, only color purple. And once we have found them, we are going to mark them with an X, ¿ok? Vamos a buscar únicamente objetos que sean de color morado. Ya que los hayamos encontrado, los vamos a marcar con un tache. Now, once again, for this, you have to help the teacher. Me tienen que ayudar a mí porque pues a veces a mí se me olvida. 
Entonces, de esa forma, ustedes me ayudan y ustedes repasan este color. Let's begin. So, objects with the color purple. Now, what about the grapes, my children? The grapes, are they color purple? Remember, there are two types of grapes. They can either be green or they can be purple. So, yes, purple are Sorry, grapes are color purple. Recuerden, chicos, que las uvas las podemos encontrar de dos colores. Pueden ser color verde o color morado. Por lo tanto, las uvas sí, color morado. Let's continue with this animal right here, which is the octopus. Now, what about the octopus? Is it color purple? Yes, it is. So, let's mark it with an X. Now, what about the apple? Apples, are they purple? No, they aren't. They are green, yellow, or the most popular color red. So, no purple, we don't mark it. Let's continue with the cats. Now, what about the cats? Are cats color purple? No, they are not. They are color black, color white, color, mm, sometimes color orange, color brown, but no purple unless you paint them. But I don't recommend it because the cat can be angry. Recuerden chicos que no hay, cor no hay gatos de color morado, a menos que uno los pinte, pero pues si pintamos un gato de morado se va a enojar y nos va a arañar y vamos a quedar como todos arañados. So no, no purple for the cats. Now, what about the crayons? Can we find or can we have a crayon purple? A purple crayon, sorry. Yes, of course. For example, if you look inside your pencil case, you can find a crayon or a color color purple, okay? So, yes. Si ustedes buscan en su estuchera, chicos, pueden buscar y pueden encontrar una crayola que sea morada o un color que sea morado. So, yes. We mark it. And finally, we have the pencil. Now, what about the pencil, my children? Pencils, are they color purple? No, they aren't. The color of the pencil is yellow and the tip of it is uh, color gray, ¿ok? Recuerden, chicos, que un lápiz tiene es color amarillo, la goma de eraser, goma, color rosa, y la punta con la que se escribe es color gris. So, no purple, we leave it like that. Now, continuing with this review of the color, I'm going to show you several objects and you will have to tell the teacher which one is purple. Let's begin with some books. Now, the books that are right, right here, first one, it's about princesses. The second book, it's about children. It's acerca de niños. Which one of these two is color purple? Number one or number two? Number two is the one that is colored purple. The book of, of the children. Excellent. Now, I'm going to show you some plastic glasses. Okay? The one that I write and the one that I have right here, it's colored red. Okay, we have a plastic glass colored red. The second is color blue, okay? And the third one, color, you know. Which one of these three? One red, two blue, three. Which one of these three is purple? The number three is color purple. Very good. Now, let's continue with Plastic dices. Now a dice is in Spanish dado. As you can see here, I have 
three dices. Now, which one of these three is color purple? One, two, or three? Number two, this one right here, color purple. And finally, let's practice with some markers. Now, I have here, once again, three markers. Which one of these three is color purple? Number one, number two, or number three? Number one, the first one is color purple. Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. Now, the teacher is very happy. I'm very happy because you pay attention, because you concentrate, because you remember objects with the letter O, and because you help me recognize objects with the color purple. So, excellent work. That's it for today, my children. Remember the teacher Jacob loves you very much. I send you a lot of kisses. Take care. Goodbye.